Hi, I'm Joe, and you're watching Tech with Joe. Today I decided to do a review for you. It's going to be on a DMR radio slash Android phone called the R Finder B1. Let's get right into it. Here's the box that the R Finder comes in. Inside the box, we have a cradle charger, a screen protector, an antenna, and the R Finder B1 itself. Here we are as it boots up. I'll let it boot up here. It's quite quick. It's mentioning DMR over IP. When it boots up, as you can see, standard Android phone. You can download anything from the Play Store. It works just like the phones you're used to. The R Finder B1 is an amateur radio meant to work on the DMR or Brandmeister network. It's dual band, meaning that it will do 70 centimeter as well as two meters, narrow and wide band. It has four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of memory. It's expandable to 128 gigs on an SD card. It's actually dual SIM, meaning you could run two different networks at the same time. The real magic happens when you open up the R Finder app. What the R Finder app is able to do is connect to any repeater with the push of a button. I'll demonstrate right here. As we touch the WWRD button here, we get nearby repeaters. We can then, with the touch of a button, pull up that repeater, set the parameters, and we'll close the directory and connect right to a talk group. We can then change that group right here. Let's say we want to go to 93. All right, now let's power on the radio. Lastly, I'm gonna do DMR over IP. The reason for this is because I happen to be far away from this repeater. And this will allow me to use the cellular network or Wi-Fi to pick that up. Let's see if we can find some traffic to listen to here. Sometimes you get people that are not all the way into a repeater, as we say. I'm very sorry, you got completely chopped up there. Negative copy, negative copy. So a few of the features. Not only does it show the last herd right here, you can actually click on that information. It will show you them. You should also be able to click on the last herd right there and see who was speaking last. The great thing about the R Finder B1, again, I can't repeat this enough, is 
you don't have to go through and have code plugs. You don't have to go on your computer, load a code plug, which is a set of repeaters that you can connect to. You don't have to find all of those, load them into the software, then upload them to your radio. And then as you wander, you have to know when to switch on most radios, uh, unless they have modes that allow you to roam. But again, this is so user-friendly, so simple. You could get off of a plane in a new place. You could then turn on your radio slash phone where you'd be able to text and make calls. But then suddenly when you turn on the R Finder app, you can pull up this directory and literally it will populate with the new repeaters. Simple as that. It not only does DMR, you can connect to regular FM repeaters, as you see here. And then were I close enough to reach that repeater, I would be able to then transmit. A couple things about the hardware. There is a USB-C for port here for, con for connecting to your computer. Now there is a new model called the B1 Plus. That one will charge via the USB-C port. You have volume here for standard Android uh, volume up and down. This is for your microphone accessory. You have a volume or channel knob on the very top. This is your antenna and your GPS. They have actually a power button here. You have your transmit for the R Finder app. And then you also have a green transmit button here, which can be programmed to any other software. A great example of another piece of software that would work great with that programmable green button would be Droidstar. And yes, you have access to that as well. Moving on, we have a fingerprint reader which as you can see works quite well. Belt clip and the battery does have camera and flash here. The battery is removable, revealing the possibility of two trans flash cards as well as two SIM cards. I'll leave a link in the description for where you can purchase the B1 or B1 Plus. They are amazing. One thing to note is that uh, Bob, who works with our Finder, is absolutely incredible. He has spent time with me personally, as well as others on uh, the Facebook forums and working with them in how to get their devices working when they have questions. He's always seems to be available. I don't know how he does it, but he's quite incredible. I hope you've enjoyed this short review. If you have more questions, comments, or want to know more about the device itself or how you can get into ham radio or amateur radio, then please leave a comment below. I will look at every comment and be happy to provide any information I can find for you.